Hello there. Hello. I'm going to have to start this video off with an apology because I have lured you here under false pretenses. If you know Selkie and you saw the title of this video, you probably laughed and you probably knew what you were getting yourself into. But for those of you that don't know Selkie, it's expensive very expensive. It's a designer brand. Basically, they became well known online because of their puff dress. It went super viral. I think that the pink one was the first one that really took off online. And since then, they've made it in many, many different colors and shapes and sizes. And it's a beautiful dress. Yes. And many companies have ripped it off, or at least it's kind of hard to say really, because I got this dress for my friend Caitlin, a white one, and it looks very, very similar to the white Selkie puff dress. And I was thinking, okay, she in ripped off Selkie. But then I thought, no, no, a, a milkmaid style dress with enormous puffy sleeves like this and a, a big skirt. I don't think that that design is really copyrighted by anyone. I feel like that's a design that's been around for a very long time. But anyway, uh, one of those dresses will set you back like 500 bucks, I think. And I, I would really like to buy quite a few of those dresses. People have been asking me for like six months, a year. I get comments every day, Alex, please review Selkie, please buy the puff dress. And uh, I'd like to, but also I could really only justify buying one of them and that's not really content. So my thoughts were, if I post this video here and uh, use the ad revenue from this and probably put that toward buying this silky puff dress and maybe a couple of other things but what I've bought today these are probably the cheapest things available on Selkie so it's not much of a haul it's really just two things you guys you're my like tight-knit group of friends and uh, I trust that you don't mind me only posting about uh, a pair of pants and a sweatsuit <laughs> these are called the black all-day sweats I got these in a size small and these were 150 US dollars which is 200 Australian dollars. I don't think I've ever paid so much for sweatpants, but the reason that I didn't mind splurging on them is because if you guys saw my fashion over jeans video ages ago, I got these black flared jeans and they have rips in them and I wear them everywhere because flared pants are my favorite thing in the world. Uh, but because they're jeans, they're not always comfortable as such. You know, when I want comfort, I mean, I really want comfort. I mean, like I want something that's soft and loose and floppy, but when I wear it out in public, it's not looking like pajamas. So when I saw these pants, they have what looks like a really big flare to them. So they reminded me a lot of my favorite black pants that I wear everywhere, but they don't have rips in them, which means they'll keep me warm. If you guys don't know, by the way, Selkie is actually owned and run and designed by the old owner or the the owner of uh, Wild Fox, is that it? Wild Fox or White Fox? No, no, Wild Fox, which was really, really big in the fashion blogging scene in like 2010. And I loved it. And I own a couple of pieces that I got on eBay secondhand, really cheap. I've never bought a new piece of uh, Wild Fox clothing, but I think that the person that started Wild Fox also started Selkie. And there's a lot of similar themes and crossovers between the two. So I do expect these things to be just as good, if not better than what Wild Fox was. And I, I love the quality of Wild Fox. Now the pants, just pull them out of the bag and they do feel luxurious. They feel really, really soft. They're really stretchy by the looks of this. And they've got a little drawstring, ooh, a big drawstring, a very big drawstring. that's got hardware on it. It's got a metal clasp. Can you hear? Hey, look, I would have been very disappointed. Well, not disappointed, but if that was just some sort of dingy plastic, I would have been like, you're charging 150 US dollars. This drawstring is elastic. It stretches a lot. First impressions, this actually feels really, really good. Feels very good. In fact, so good that I'm gonna put them on. Oh, 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 I like them. Oh, they're cozy. They're not as thick or as warm as I thought that they were gonna be. They're actually very thin, but they feel really, really nice. I went into a store and I was just looking to buy some new pants. I'd pay $80 for these, I'd say. The $200 price tag, it, it might be a sustainable brand, at which point it makes sense that they charge more. These are now officially the most expensive pants I own. I actually don't want to take them off. They're extremely comfortable, but I do have something else to show you. The next thing, I was very confused about this. This here, I really hope is what it was advertised as. They had this pastel two-piece set in these pictures. And I thought, oh yeah, like that's a, a tracksuit set. And it was uh, 
50 US dollars. And then a bit further down on the page, they had the same thing, the hoodie, and it was almost the same price as what looked like a two piece set. And I thought, no, no, that can't be right, surely. Is, have they written the description wrong? Like, is that the price for just the pants and that's the price of the top? Or are they charging the same amount for a two piece set as they are for the top on its own? Or maybe the top is different. Maybe it's, there's something different about it, I don't know. I'm under the impression that I've bought a two piece set here. So if only one thing comes out of this bag, I'm either dumb or they've written the wrong thing on their website. Aha, it's two pieces, yes! And it's incredible, holy shit. Oh God, this is worth every cent, every cent. Oh, I wish you could touch this. Oh, it's so nice. What is this fabric? 70% modal, M-O-D-A-L, modal. 26% cotton and 4% spandex. What's modal? I've, what? I've never heard of that before. It says you can work, feast, drink, party, protest, dance, cry, read, swipe, date, love, fight, sleep, breakfast, Netflix, and chill in me. But after all that fun, please give me the care I need in a cold bath. That's adorable. Okay, so this two piece set, I think 250 US dollars, I think it was, which is maybe like, I think it's 320 Australian dollars, which would maybe if you just divided the cost in half, you could say, yeah, maybe it's like a hundred and something per piece. These feel so nice. So. Pfft. The, that brings the cost of this to basically like 150 bucks. And this Nike thing that I'm wearing, I think this cost more than that from ASOS. This, compared to this, it's like food court sushi versus sushi in Japan. <laughs> Weird analogy, I know. Anyway, um, I'm not wearing a bra, so I'm just gonna disappear over there uh, and make sure you can't see me in the reflection of the mirror. Uh, okay, no, sorry, I'm just gonna be one moment. Please hold, please hold while I put this, oh my God. <gasps> It's so stretchy. It's so nice. Wow. Okay, wait, wait. My head is stuck in the hood. Hang on, wait. Oh God, hang on. Uh, I can't see. I can't see anything. Wait, hang on. I, uh, my, this is a hood here and it's, it's so stretchy that it's kind of like stuck. Hang on. Oh, oh, there we go. Wait, hang on. This is amazing. Well, I haven't even looked at myself in the mirror yet. I don't even know what I look like. Oh, oh, wow. This is my favorite thing in the world. You can't change my mind. Never in my life have I purchased something that brings me as much joy as this. Maybe aside from Archie. This is under undervalued. If this was like 500 bucks for this sweatsuit, I'd be like, yeah. It's a designer sweatsuit and it's incredible, makes sense. It's so cozy. I haven't looked at myself with the pants on yet, so I don't know if it's, it's probably a little bit too much, right? Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. But you know what? This is quite a lot, like all of this at once. I actually think with the black pants, probably a bit easier for me to wear if I'm going out somewhere. If I'm at home, there is gonna be no stopping me from lounging in this. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever felt so comfortable in my entire life. I'm wearing thermals under the pants, uh, but I'm not wearing anything at all under the top. It's just a, a Hello there. and it's the softest thing I've ever felt against my skin in my life. This is my favorite thing. My favorite thing. I, what was the fabric I said? It was called Mo Motel or something? I'm gonna put a thing up there about whatever that is, cause I don't know what that is. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna zoom you back in now. I'm impressed. I'm really, really, really impressed. And I hope that this video gets enough views so that I can earn some ad revenue that I can dump straight back into buying more stuff from Selkie. They have this, um, they got a dress called the Romance Novel. I think that's what it's called, something like that. It's just glorious. To me, that design is much nicer than the, uh, the puff dress. Like the puff dress is cute, yes, but I think the there's other dresses that on the website that it's just so nice but each dress is you know at least 300 400 500 it's not the sort of company that i can really buy five pieces ten pieces from <sighs> but i would like to guys 
I have amazing news. Oh my god, so uh, it's been a little while since I bought my first two Selkie items and here I was daydreaming about buying myself a puff dress or paying my mortgage uh, and now Thanks to Skillshare, I don't have to make that choice. Yes, that's right, Skillshare stepped in and saved the day. They sent me an email and told me that they wanted to sponsor a video and I thought, amazing. This is a great brand and I can use the sponsorship money to buy some dresses from Selkie. So thanks to Skillshare, I was able to buy two beautiful, glorious, magnificent, $500 dresses. <laughs> so uh, let's have a little talk about Skillshare first and then I will show you the glorious, the most highly anticipated, the most luxurious and opulent spectacle of lockdown. So I've been in lockdown since June. Yeah, I, I haven't left my house once. In fact, I haven't even left my driveway. <laughs> so I've done my living room up quite nicely hoping to do the dresses justice. So with that, let me tell you guys about Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes available to help people explore new interests and get lost in creativity. Like a lot of people in lockdown, I've been taking this time to get into some new hobbies and learn some new skills. And if you guys don't already know, I have a plant Instagram account called Pastel Plants Please. Up until recently, I would have considered myself a bit of an amateur as far as plants go. I bought a bunch of them, tried to keep them alive. Some of them succeeded. Some of them not so much, but with courses on Skillshare like indoor gardening, grow houseplants, veggies and herbs, I've been able to pick up so many incredible tips and tricks for helping my plants to thrive. Check out my chain of hearts. Doesn't it look glorious? My Peperomia Pink Lady has never looked better. And my little sad boy Fiddle Leaf Fig has a chance now of looking something like this enormous fake one that I purchased because the little one just wasn't growing. Skillshare has thousands of incredible courses curated for you by professionals in the field. Hector Chowdhury has a PhD in ecology, so you can see why I would trust her to teach me everything she knows about plants. There's no ads on Skillshare and they're always launching new classes. So whether you're a green thumb or you're just trying to keep your first house plant alive, Skillshare can help you discover your potential. The first 1,000 subscribers of mine to click the link in the description box below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So don't forget to head to the link in my description box below and the first thousand people to use it will get one month free with Skillshare. So thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video because if you hadn't, I wouldn't have been able to buy these. Here they are my friends and are they not glorious? I know that I said I was eyeing off the Selkie puff dress but yes, Selkie makes it and does it very, very, very well. But I thought, look, if I'm, I'm gonna be spending $1,000, I wanna make sure that I'm getting something that is so uniquely Selkie that no one else sells it. Or, or if they do, it's nowhere near as nice. I've had my eye on this dress for, I think it's been about a year. It always comes in and out of pre-order. You can never just buy it outright. You can't just go on the Selkie website and pick this dress and just pay for it and they send it to you. It's always a pre-order. So I went to pre-order it and I had kind of a hard time picking the size that I was going to wear. I would normally wear an extra small. And I took my measurements and I looked at it on their size chart and it looked as though I was actually an extra, extra small in this dress. Fingers crossed it actually fits because this dress was 434 Australian dollars. My first thoughts right off the bat about this dress are, it feels so luxurious. Look at this beautiful chiffon. It's got lace around the edges of the sleeves. It's super, super stretchy. This elastic is, well, you know what? It's giving me hope. We've got a little bow at the back here and the skirt. Oh my God, talk about voluminous. There is so much going on here. This is a huge skirt. It's a very, very heavy dress. We've got layer one, layer two, layer three, and that's it, there's, there's three layers. This seems too small. I feel like I've been lied to about the measurements. All right, here goes. I'm partially in it, but moment of truth. Will it zip all the way up? Oh, <gasps> I haven't been lied to, okay. Oh my God, okay, I haven't looked in the mirror yet. What do you think? Can you uh, leave a comment down below and tell me before I've seen myself? If, if you were here right now, if we weren't in lockdown and we were hanging out right now, what would you say? Would you be like, oh, it's beautiful. Or would you be like, you look ridiculous. <laughs> Are you hosting a six year old's birthday party? Oh, it's so angelic. Oh my God.
puff dress who. I hereby renounce my title as mother of birds and instead claim my rightful role as queen of the realm. Let me say this. If you are down to your last $500 and you need to choose between rent, food, medical bills or this dress, I'm not going to advise you either way. I'm not a qualified financial advisor, but I am qualified in fashion. I may be inclined to lean towards selkie. If you were wearing this dress, yes, you've just spent your last dollar on it, but feeling like a million dollars is surely worth it. Let's get onto the, the practical stuff here, because as much as I adore it and as glorious and opulent as it is, there's a couple of things that you may want to consider before you choose this dress over paying your rent. I'm quite tall. I think I'm about five, seven, five, eight. Even if I wore the highest heels I own, being my pole dancing boots from Wish. Stay tuned for my next video. Pole dancing in a selkie dress wearing boots from Wish. I'm now six feet tall and the dress is still dragging on the ground. I suppose if you are capable of walking in 10 inch heels and you're taller than five foot six, then you can wear this without it dragging through the mud. Where you would want to wear a dress like this, I am yet to understand. Prom, sorry, we, we call it formal here in Australia. We don't call it prom. I don't know if we avoid calling it prom because prom is distinctly American and we try to avoid anything American, aside from all of your movies and TV shows and music. But uh, you, would you wear this to your school formal, guys, if you're Australian? Would you wear it to your prom if you were American? I would. If I'd had the opportunity to go to one, I most certainly would have wanted to. No, hang on. I was gonna say I would have wanted to wear a dress like this, but with shoes. Oh God. When I was around prom age, I was still a goth. So I probably would have wanted to wear a black dress with spikes, but nevertheless, aside from prom or perhaps a wedding or a photo shoot or a very bougie garden party, it is the sort of dress that you're going to spend a huge amount of money on and probably not wear all that often. It's comfortable enough. The elastic is a little bit tight, it's kind of cutting off my circulation, but who needs arms anyway? Another problem that I'm finding is that despite the elastic being tight on my arms, it's not quite tight enough here. It is falling down to what is about to be condemned by Susan. The other problem is, for me at least, with my body shape, this little waistline here that has the bow around it is actually sitting on my rib cage. Now my waist is here. This is the thinnest part of my waist. So ideally I would like this to be sitting around my waist like that. But if I pull it down to where my waist sits, Suddenly, it's way, way, way too low here. Something has also just occurred to me that I'm standing here 10 inches taller than I was before, and I'm not sure if my head is actually in frame. My husband is working from home. He has been for two months. We've had to do a little bit of shuffling of furniture so that he can have an office and I can film without his colleagues hearing me. I can't hear him on a call at the moment, so I'm going to call him up and see what he says. Dan? Dan knows that I wouldn't be distracting him from work if it weren't a very important cause. You can look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I look like a... Yeah. <laughs> I like that you've chosen a nice accessory to compliment my outfit. Uh, you see. <laughs> does it suit? It does. It looks really good. Did you get a little spin? Uh, I don't know about that. Do you know what I'm wearing underneath this? Yeah, I'll stay really still and then you can just do like a one of these and then you can speed it up to make it look like that. Oh, right. that's a good idea. Ta da! No, really, actually, here, you you hold. We'll do, 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 you know how we practiced when we didn't dance at our wedding? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Wait, hang on, no. Uh, is it up? Did okay. you want to dance at our wedding? No. No, no. We didn't even have a dance floor. We were like, mm -mm, no, thank no, you. No, thank you. So you go like this. Yeah. And you let go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. That wasn't too bad. Okay, if I fall, you better catch me. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting. Those dumb wish shoes. <laughs> Dan. Yes. Question for you. Sure. <laughs> Please sit me in the chair. Oh god, I'm dizzy. Shit. You got it. You agree I am queen of the realm, am I not? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, so you know how we have a mortgage to pay? Correct. How many repayments of our mortgage 
would you be willing to skip to afford this dress? Uh, is that a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it's worth? Okay. Also, just so you know, Skillshare sponsored this video. So we didn't have to miss any mortgage repayments. But the viewers out there, some of them may have to forego their rent to afford this. Like so, we did for your wedding dress. Like we did for the wedding <laughs> dress. What do you think it's worth? Eight hundred, six to eight hundred dollars, something like that. Six to eight hundred dollars, Australian dollars at four hundred and seventy. Wow, Here not bad, huh? It's not often that so... Daniel would justify triple digits for dresses. Only the wedding dress, really. <laughs> Pretty well, just the wedding dress. That's that's the only one. But if there's a twenty-year-old out there that wants to get this for her twenty-first birthday party. You remember what I wore to my 21st birthday party. Hermione Granger? No, that was you. What? I was Black Widow, you were Ron Weasley. Oh. Yeah, I'd say if it was like a, what we call a year 12 formal or a, what do they call them? Prom, we just like had this discussion. A, a prom sort of event, like, yeah, it's definitely worth it. If I was to buy a suit, that would cost me more. A suit, They'd yeah, true. They'd be about true. the same price as a suit. Actually, yeah, like a nice a nice suit. Uh, well, when we've had weddings in the past and you needed to buy a suit for a wedding, we paid like $500 for a two-piece suit. Yeah, it was about 500 Aussie, so. Yeah, you know, when you put it in that sort of context. Mind you, like the suit's good for like formals, it's good for job interviews, it's good for going out to dinner, it's Are you saying that funerals. this dress is not good for job interviews? <laughs> Miss <clears throat> Pastel, I see that you've applied for the role of uh, Mother of Birds. Yes. Uh, what makes you qualified for this role? Well, uh, my experience in the field extends back at least 25 years. My first budgerigar was given to me when I was three years old. Her name is Snowflake, and she was 18 when she died. Now, historically, if you look at the average age of a budgerigar, they tend to only live between 9 and 13 years. So, I am definitively able to prove that I can look after budgerigars, or parakeets as they are known in the Northern Hemisphere, I can look after them successfully. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you may not be able to wear it to a job interview. It may not be as versatile as a suit, but um, it's glorious. Well, you know what they say. Love is blind. <laughs> Let's go eat, huh? Everything, Everything is fine. Don't dress for the job that you have, dress for the job that you want. And. If that's the case, what job do I want? Do I want to be Princess Peach? <laughs> Princess Peach? From Mario! Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dan. I'm sorry to call you away from work. That's okay, this was well worth the experience. Alright, thanks Dan. There is one more, but I'm sure you have to get back to it, don't you? Sure. Yeah, I'll be quick. What I'll do, I'll, I'll put the next one on quickly, and then I'll do all the chatting about it later. Dan, you, you sit down and give them live commentary. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Here's the next one. Uh, this one is ever so slightly more practical than the last one. It's not quite as long. I'm not wearing the 10 inch heels right now and it's only just touching the ground. What do you think? Ew. This is heavier than the last one. Oh, like yeah. a lot heavier. Okay, wait, let me, let me give it a spin. It looks like you could fly away. I could fly away. Hang on, I need to really get, get the air under the skirt. There. Just sort of. We get it. We get it going. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, right. What do you think? Oh, my God. Look how. Look. Can, can, you, do, can you do me a favor? Can you just check? I'm not wearing my glasses. Can you see if the skirt is in frame? I, I don't know if they can see the floor or not. No, it's lost the last 10 centimetres or so. Can you just like tip down and tip, 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 tip. Can you my stomach? Yeah, are you about to sh yourself? <laughs> I'm 
hungry. Oh. How much do you think this is worth? Three hundred and eighty odd dollars. I think it's worth less. You think it's worth less? Yes. It's actually four hundred and forty-eight Australian dollars. Still worth it? Mm, no. The cotton ritz will have you spinning in circles around the house. How did they know? All right. Well. Thank you, Dan. Oh, shit. I better stop doing that. <laughs> you alright? Luckily, there's only two dresses. I release you from your human bonds. You may go back to working now. Oh, thank you. Alright, so let's talk about the practical side of this dress. So, it is incredibly comfortable. The way that they advertise it with a, uh, oh, it's so comfortable that you'll be wearing it all around your house. True. It's divine. It's cotton and it's a really thick, heavy cotton and it's so soft, easy to wear, but my problem with it is the sizing situation. This is a, it's so weird because the other one, you know how I had to get it in an extra, extra small. Well, um, it didn't have the same size chart as this one. This one had a completely different size chart. So I got this in a small, it's, it's way too big. You can probably tell I don't have anything to fill this out here. You know, it's, it's like, it just kind of looks a bit ridiculous. And also there's a huge amount of extra room in here. It really needs to kind of be fitting me like that for it to have its full effect. You know, like in the pictures, uh, she's doing something like, um, what's she doing? She's holding it like this and she's going like that. Am I doing it right? It's everything I'd hoped for. It's just like the picture. This is called the Ritz gown and it comes in a variety of different colors. Uh, my favorite one was actually the, I think they called it the chalk Ritz gown. It's like this pastel one. There was just something about this, about the more sort of subtle pink tones. It's sort of toned down a little bit. And I was like, you know, I can imagine if someone had a birthday party or if there was a special occasion, I think I'd be more inclined to wear this than wear like a super bright pastel -y rainbow kind of thing. It's, I don't know, it's just a little bit more wearable to me. If you can call something with a skirt the size of the Harbour Bridge wearable. So the situation with sizing, I'm on the Selkie website and I'm looking at the size chart. So on the website, it is listed as for a size two, which is a extra, extra small. It says across the high waist, 22.5 inches for this gown. But then when you go to the uh, romance novel gown, the size two, extra, extra small, High waist, 24 and a quarter inches. So we're looking at for the same size, 24 and a quarter or 22.5. That's two inches different for the same size. So it confused me and it led me to order this one in a bigger size because the romance novel said that it was at least two inches bigger than the Ritz gown. So I thought, okay, uh, if I'm gonna get the romance, wait, is that right? Oh my God. I've confused myself. Oh, interesting. It does actually say in the description box of this one, this new version of the Ritz has bigger cuffs and underwire. Interesting. It didn't say that when I put through my order. So I wonder if they've had to say that now because people like me bought it thinking that they were getting the right size and they've had this big problem. I really should have just taken my measurements and just trusted that the measurements on the site were accurate. But instead, I took my measurements, I looked at the site, I thought, oh, hang on, that doesn't seem right. I feel like I should size up in that because that's not going to be stretchy, but that one is. No, no, it really looks as though Selkie is one of the few brands that correctly advertises their sizing. The quality of this, it's beautiful. Beautiful. If I was the type of YouTuber, or influencer that got invited to things, because I, I don't, other YouTubers get invited to, uh, you know, PR event, come sit at our long fancy table covered in flowers and eat a five star meal and we will put our products on a table up the front, please take a selfie. If I got invited to those sort of things, I would buy a few of these dresses and I would wear them <laughs> to those events. Uh, as it stands, the only events I get invited to are D&D and uh, watching the latest Marvel shows on Disney Plus at my friends' houses. Nothing wrong with that. I would pick that over some silly influencer event any day. So I think I will just leave it at the two that I own. That being said, if, if I was going to buy more, if Skillshare wanted to sponsor another video, I, I would maybe buy the puff dress. Now that I have vetted the quality of the Selkie items and I know the fit is accurate to the size chart, the quality is 
second to none. Like it's just the best. If you're gonna buy a garment to only wear once, buy one of these. But that being said, Selkie also does make dresses that aren't ridiculously over the top. You know, they've, they've got that one, I don't know what it's called, that. So cute. I was this close to buying it. This close. This here or this here. You can imagine getting so much wear out of that. They're a couple of hundred dollars each, but I mean, if you're gonna wear it every second weekend or something, why not? If you've been thinking about buying from Selkie and you weren't certain, you didn't know whether it would be worth it, or you were like, oh, I see the people on Instagram wearing it, but I don't know if it's actually gonna be worth it or not. Worth it. So with that, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram. It's pretty pastel, please. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!